the British boxing fight. We're going to do the Golden Boy um, promotions too, just a couple of highlights of the, the weekend that was. So I'll start off with the British side. So first things first, Joe Joyce. As you saw on the title, might as well get straight to it. No mucking around. What do you think of his performance? Late round stoppage. I mean, good fight and good body work, and I could see it going down that path. But Joe Joyce is still susceptible to that overhand right. The amount of times he got clipped by it, he wants to fight Wilder. Now, you get hit by that with Wilder, you're going out. That's just me. I know he's got a chin. They call him the juggernaut, but, like, look what Zhang did to him, you know what I mean? So I thought he had a good fight. I definitely thought he still hasn't really learned with the overhand right. <laughs> he was really – I thought he looked really stiff and robotish like and slow in some areas. But, hey, good fight, fair play. Beat um, Cash and did it in a style. And uh, the late round stoppage, they're the best fights, you know. Your body starts going with all the body shots, the wall, and then it just comes too much. You win. It's a big moment for Joe Joe's, I guess, in that sense, because it was a great fight. So impressed, definitely with the late finish. We're happy with the fight, good fight. But the right, the overhand rights were landing. Like if this guy had serious power, um, I think Joe Joe's would be in trouble. So it's definitely something he needs to work on with that 100%. But overall, good work. You guys tell me what you think about it. You tell me if you think it was a great performance, if it wasn't, what you thought about it overall, what you thought about his opponent, and what you thought about him calling out Wilder, um, White, or Parker. I thought that was interesting too. I would like to see him fight another opponent similar to Cash, I think, and just work on some things. That's just me as a boxing fan. Um, nothing against JoJo's at all. I think he's a great boxer, but give him another fight like that. Let him work on some movement, figuring out how to stop that overhand right or, or some sort of defense towards it. Because once you get up to that top tier with those guys with power, that's an issue. So, again, great performance, great win. But I think another opponent like that, rather than calling out one of the top guys. And we go on to the main event. I'll just skip straight to the main event, the Heaney fight with pause. War, great fight, ended in a draw rematch hopefully soon i thought that was like they said one of the top fights of the year i think it's definitely going to be a contender and they definitely need to run it back asap so i guess the fight fans are going to be in for another one of them which is perfect great for boxing in general so that was a great fight i think british boxing sort of had a win this weekend definitely with that kind of stuff going with the joe joyce and the heaney fight and pause fight i think those two there like they're just stands out so i think i i won't even go into the rest of them i think those two are the standouts then we go back over to the american side where we had um zapata versus uh hughes and i'll just start i've got a few notes here that i took down the other day when i was watching the fight so the uh, ariate win look he looks good he looks like a good fighter 100 percent. looks good sharp good boxing good power I think the guy that he was versing was a bit rough. I think they sort of picked him out of, as you could say, Jake Paul's opponent's sort of bag. Uh, even the, his opponent said he didn't know why they chose me, and everyone's sort of saying they know why now. But, look, he still looked good at Iriate, good fighter. Be interested to see what he has to do in the future. He should get a higher-ranked opponent to test those skills. So I'll just leave that there. I won't go too much into it because the guy he versed wasn't um, – how do I say this? The highest of skill sets so good win by him priest and sanchez i thought that was a good fight i thought priest was favored to win in an amazing fashion didn't happen he was versing a counter puncher sanchez got some good shots on him priest pushed forward clean shots heavy hands still had power towards the end happy with the fight i thought that was one of the better fights of the night i just thought it was a bit of back and forth and I think Sanchez got tied in the end. But, look, he got some good shots off, and, and he's a good counter puncher, and I think it was good for Priest. I'd be interested to see who he fights next. Um, maybe somewhere around the same sort of level in experience-wise just to build his experience up. So I was happy with that. I thought that was close to fight of the night, other than Zapata, obviously. And then we skipped that fight. We're going to go to Carl Crew or Crutay or whatever they were calling him. That guy got a nice knockout. That was clean. So 
I'll be interested to see who he fights next. I think the American boxing card was by Golden Boy was good. I think, look, this British boxing and American boxing, I just, it doesn't really bother me who fights as long as they're the highest opponents. But I definitely think American boxing had some more highlights in the sense of the knockouts situation. And then we go to Schofields and Sero, who was like probably one of the dirtiest boxers of all time. And like I saw the replay with the the shot the low shots and the second one was undeniable like, like what are you expecting mate so I didn't, couldn't believe the amount of times he picked him up Schofield's looked good too his left hand was crispy but I thought he was throwing it a lot I'd like to see probably more one twos and straight to the chest um the looping power shots after a while you're going to get counted one day badly by a really experienced guy but again dirtiest boxer i've ever seen sir i think his name was swero or Sero, but like what did he expect the guy was picking him up and doing the, like pulling his arms and dumb stuff like i just don't understand that like and then he has the nerve to suck and carry on when he gets caught out for it so he lost two points and they disqualified him which i think is 100 percent fair play i don't think he'll be back in the boxing ring especially with that organization so good win for Schofields. Very interesting to see what he's got because he's got some nice hands, uh, definitely a nice left hook, which he was using a lot. So great fighter. Very interested to see how um, his next fight goes. I'll be watching him. And then we'll go to Zapata, which was a great win. Good body work, just a tough Mexican all around. He's great fighter. I thought his corner did a really good job. A lot of corners will push you to go and the rounds put your fighter through hell or put him in a real dangerous position i thought they called it fair he said if you i'm not going to put you out there i can't do that as a corner i thought that was really smart and great to see to be honest with you and you could see his wife hughes's wife was very very concerned and his face was like a balloon and all that other stuff so zapata had a good win so i was pretty interested with that tough guy i'll be very interested to see his next opponent like I said, that was a main card fight, and he really put on a performance there. So tough guy, good power, great chin too, and he's got the cardio. I like to see fighters with cardio. That's like my big thing because I just feel like I don't care if you have power. If you can't go 12 rounds of power or the 10 rounds of power and you start fading after five rounds, you're in trouble, and I've seen it a lot. And I've seen it a lot in inexperienced fighters too. So, I mean, when you see these fighters – that are on the main card that show up, have the cardio, done the work. I think that's awesome to see. I hate fighters that don't do that. Like if you get beaten, you get beaten, but show up ready to go. That's your job. So I thought Zapata did a good job. I think his brother fights on this weekend coming up, which I'll be streaming. But other than that, I thought boxing had a good week and in general, but few, like I said, Joe Joe's I thought was interesting. Give me your comments on that. I want to hear what people think about that because he sort of lost twice the second one was pretty bad with Zhang, like brutal KO. Come back, he had an, a knock, a TKO finish, but tell me what you thought of his performance. I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was wild level, level, sorry, or white level. But you guys tell me what you think. I think the Heaney and Paul's fight, great fight, rematch, definitely going to be in for that. I'll probably stream that live after watching the first one. And... Tell me what you think of that Ciara guy, the boxer. I thought that was, like, as much as you don't want to see it, I still thought it was funny because you just, like, what's the point of showing up when you're carrying on like that? And it kind of reminds me of the Brian Battle on Angelou's UFC fight where he just, that looser guy knew he was losing. He wanted to take the ease way out, so he started getting frustrated and carrying on. And then he just quit. And I think it was similar in the sense of he was getting very frustrated. So he was very frustrated with... Um, Schofields with his left hand and the way he was doing things and that's why he carried on the way he did so is what it is hats off to Schofields and Zapato who do you think he'll fight next and what do you think of his performance so I'll leave that with you appreciate you guys watching and tuning in I'm going to do more of this kind of reviewing stuff this is going to be like a new sort of a thing also do my gaming and all my other bits and pieces but I want to keep up with the fighting news like we've got big fights coming up this year huge fights actually so i'll be keeping up to all that kind of stuff latest with the jake paul and mark tyson we've got zoo coming up with thurman which i'm super interested in and Rolly romero versus pitbull another great fight 
So I'll be keeping up to date with them and I'll be streaming those ones too. So make sure you keep in tune, subscribe, like all my gear, comment, show me. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm a guy that wants to interact with the fans. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'll get back to you in the comments 100%. So let me know and yeah, have a great day. See you later. Thanks for watching.